Hey everybody, I'm Chris. I'm Ritzgar. I'm Seamus. And I'm Josh. And, and now, after a long hiatus, are... we return to our ongoing Let's Get Through Mass Effect 3 Oh God Please series. This this series is taking its toll on us. This is this is probably as hard as Alan Wake. Those last few weeks of Alan Wake where we used to come in here to do the show and we would be like, I I can't care about this game anymore. Someone help. Bunch now, of dudes I mean we still have stuff to say. Citadel that we don't care. We still have stuff to say, but Okay, look, this is just my blanket absolution for anybody who's like, I'm gonna come back when they they're I'm gonna come back for the next season, which we promise is gonna be much more cheerful. Dear God, like, trainer is okay. talking to us through subtitles. It's like he messaged you on AIM while you're trying to do something. <laughs> well, we're talking, and then I got into the galaxy map. What what does that have to do with anything again? I, I don't fucking know. I'm not even okay, sure so how that related to what we're doing. We've got fuel. I've been gone for innumerable weeks. Where are we and what are we doing? Uh, okay, so we just met Samara. Um, and saved her kids. Kind of one of them anyway. I do um, remember a massive set of boobs, yes. Yeah, that's about all you remember. Yeah. Um, now we've got a few things. We can do side missions, we can do another one, we can do Jacob's side mission, but Jacob's dead, and we don't care. Also, he's I am, I am a little so curious what that, on arrival. what that... I am a little curious what the mission would look like without Jacob in it. Pretty much exactly how it would look with Jacob in it. Uh, we got some... I think that Cerberus Lab is another N7 mission we don't care about. So is the service fighter base. What service abductions? Ah, who cares? Oh, we should also go and... Oh! Okay, I will say this. I meant to say this before we did the show, but I'll just say it on the show because screw professionalism. There is a mission somewhere in here where Cerberus kills a bunch of civilians and the, the debriefing with Hackett afterwards is absolutely guffaw-inducing. Um, and I keep hoping we'll run into it, but I'm not sure. I think maybe we already missed it. But the the gist of the con pick something, Josh. Really, just well at, at the duck. risk of okay, at the risk of sidetracking the show even more, we could go and do that. Um, there's a conversation with Hackett where Cerberus kills a oh. bunch of civilians like they did, and. Hackett says, I kid you not, I heard this twice in both my playthroughs. Cerberus claims it was a rogue cell, and I'm inclined to believe them. Uh, killing civilians isn't really their style. I kid you not, these words are said somewhere in this game. I am not making this up. <laughs> you ever get the sense that none of the writers are paying attention to what's going on at any of the other missions? Have they killed anything but civilians so far? Have they managed <laughs> to kill fuel. a single person okay. that was armed? Now that we pissed off all the Reapers and they're coming to kill us, we can take a look at Octura Station. I mean, Station, to be fair, Cerberus uh, has attacked one armed up. individual. You. Oh. Oh, we need to go over here. Okay. <laughs> I guess the Cerberus abductions is a different spot, right? Wait, is this the Soul Sector area? Because Arcturus Station is supposed fuel. to be... Oh no! What will we do when we run out of fuel? I can't imagine. Space Land on a planet tower. and get a beryllium sphere? <laughs> if only this game were that self-aware. Remember back in like the following would... days where you could just include all kinds of parodies and pop culture references and nobody gave a shit? <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna explain that one? No, you know what? If you people want to know what that reference is, you'd go do your homework. You should know that Let's one. Let's Caden for something. Caden and new Caden. And then they can, they can have a cat fight. No, I'm more bro than you, bro. No, uh bro. I'm the most bro here, bro. Get rid of that sh Down you, bro! 
Nicely done. It, it does sort of... I was just thinking, I don't think I've ever seen those two characters interact in any meaningful way. Well, yeah, they're bros. Bros never interact in meaningful ways. That would be gay. Well, but... I, 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 I guess my point is that a lot of Mass Effect is about the player of Shepard's relationship with these guys. You know, Shepard's relationship with Garrus because they're best friends, and Shepard's relationship with uh, other characters. But some of the best writing is when the, the two characters play off one another, like when you had Morden and Rex sort of sniping at one another. It's true. And you get to, and be, these the, guys and you get to be the moderator. And you get to pick sides. I like you better than you. I like you best. You're a better character. Um, yeah, and these, these two guys really Shepherd don't have any official interaction. channels to it's deny. This sounds like the mission that you're talking about, Seamus. Awesome. Oh, I was hoping we get to do it. It's worth it for the guffaw at the end. It really is. Where the writers just put a dunce cap on and give up. Look, they made us, they said they wanted the, the player to do a shooty level. Oh, this, this is the best we could do. Leave us alone. This map. I think, is this the only map that we've beaten properly, Chris, in multiplayer? Or did, yeah. we, did we beat another one? I don't no, remember. you, me, and Seamus beat this. Keep me updated. And did your rich multiplayer I thought Seamus joined us and we died a single player. Horribly. Oh. <laughs> that's not an I... enemy, that's a person dying for no reason. You know, okay. I want to say some good things about this level. I like the thinking behind this, this modular cargo containers. Um, I, I've always thought if we were to move into space, if we were to make colonies on another world, this is probably a lot what it would be like. Rather than go to another world and try and build a factory from nothing, you would end up producing a lot of your housing on Earth and then, you know, dropping in place there. So you'd end up building things out of modular pieces. And... It would look something like this. A lot of just sort of box buildings that get chained together in different ways. You can look at this and the way that third world, uh... buildings made out of corrugated metal kind of get organically thrown together and end up shaped like this. Yeah. Honestly, the, Although, the colors are pretty good too. I mean, you look at the contrast between the blue, the deep blues and sort of the bright oranges. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a yeah, cliche color it's also contrast, blue but it's... And orange. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. It is blue and orange, but still, at least we can tell the foreground from the background here. Did did that person turn into two people as he died? Like I split him <laughs> yes. from yes, like, he in, did. into his. I was watching his that, yin and exactly yang, and then they both fell over and died. I really no, like one of them survived, and he will go on to redeem the sins of his predecessor and seek forgiveness <laughs> for all the individuals he killed. And then he'll kill him again in another Cerberus mission. By accident. This game sucks! You heard him. We hold you. I, I really like the use of uh, the, the multiplayer Defense maps and the single player. I don't know how to do that. But I, I kind of wish they were tied to an overall economy, because they're very, very clearly tertiary and don't really give you much of a reward, it's just sort of stuff to do. Like, no, you can't go down the ladder. Mission. Now you can go down the ladder. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a cool thing uh, if we ignore the, the problem of Cerberus itself. I mean, it's almost like anytime we have Cerberus on the screen, we just have to, okay, blanket, hand wave, everything's wrong with Cerberus. Because otherwise you just wind up bringing <laughs> Insert up Insert Cerberus of... rant here. Yeah. Like, aside from everything Ooh. wrong with why would they be doing this and why would they waste We're... their time and... Why would we have to apparently. deal with it? Oh. Yeah, I, I don't mind the idea of... And I like the idea of putting a human face on the conflict instead of a little kid dying. Have a what? colony. Have us visit a colony and see Be what careful. Do. Nemo, if you can read this, stay away from the taxi stand. That place is crawling with Cerberus soldiers. Ellie. What? Did, uh, what? Did I find someone's phone and it just looks like a generic pad or something? And they wrote a message to someone else but then left it on their own phone? And they said Maybe if it was, you can read was the this? other person? I don't know. 
Could they the not find a piece of paper or something? The if you can read this is the biggest crutch of the found, you know, the the exposition delivered through audio yeah. thing. That is just the worst. The if, if you I get can this, read this message, inevitably they can. Oh man, I forget. Can you read? Um, I guess you can read this. Get like, out like of whoever it. says that shit. Yeah. If you can read this email, I would like to get milk and eggs from the grocery store. If you can read this, you may already be a winner. If you can hear this podcast, <laughs> please, for the love of God, send help. We are stuck in Mass Effect 3. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... but uh, I, I like the idea of having these little side missions, because they're quick, they're dirty, you just get in, you have some fun shooty bits... Uh, it would have actually, it should have freed them up to have more story focused main missions. Because then you go yeah. to them here and do your war stuff. And they don't, but they could have. Or these could just be like little pad little micro stories where you show up, you get like a couple lines of dialogue, and there's like a non like dialogue choice later on. Like, even like as simple as the ones in Saints Row the Third, where you run to one location to pick one option, run to another to pick another, you know? That would be good, yeah. Alright, we don't have time to do everything. Do we want to make sure that we kill the Cerberus Can I ship that drop you. these guys off? Or do we want to f save just these couple of civilians? We might ultimately save more lives by killing the Cerberus guys. And you just lean one way or the other. And then maybe you could change the reward that the player gets based on that instead of handing them generic credits! And war asset. This is just in. We're better game designers than the people who did Mass Effect 3. Don't don't bring up the war uh, the war assets. Just awful. By the way, I, I say that with a great degree of self awareness. Being able to point out the flaws of a game from an armchair is not be is not the same as being able to design one. Yeah, I'll, I'll get I'll give them that. Yeah, I know this is hard, and I know we're doing it after the fact. With, and we can we could sit here all, all we want and dream about how this game could be made better because Vega, we don't have to pay for any of the floor. Yeah, that's the other thing. Although I don't think that would be much more expensive, really. Yeah. How do I? I mean, the, thank I specifically you. chose that approach because it's very plausible. You they don't have to like animate different cutscenes. They don't have to get voice actors into the studio. They really just have to like make a different prompt appear on the screen and like have slightly different. Like, you, uh, you reuse a couple of their old scripts for animations or, like, explosions or doing? something, depending on what on. you do. It doesn't have to be Leave. elaborate, it just has to oh, be I a choice. Oh, I got stuff over here. That's the thing, one thing I don't know if Mass Effect ever quite grasped is that we like making choices, but we don't need to see our choices manifested as, like, a voice-acted, and like, separately animated, Scorsese directed five second shot. Or Seriously. like a different cutscene. We just, you know, even if there's barely any kind of sort of visual signification that we've done is different, we still like it. I mean, Fallout New Vegas has tons of choices, and honestly, most of their animations are pretty Spartan. Like, if you pick, you know, they're, they're, I can think of sort of dozens of examples in the series where, like, I choose to destroy a lab, and then when the explosion does happen, or like the smoke's pouring out of the door, it looks kind of silly. Because they didn't have a lot of time, they, you know, they just didn't have the time and resources to make all of it look good. But I didn't care! Killing house is basically a texture swap, right? Not it, it basically, yeah. his body operates the same as all the other corpses in the game. No, I mean on the, the computers. Yeah, mm -hmm. how the... The yes man just changes what screen he's got or whatever. Okay, Seamus set this up to be a big thing. Cerberus still denying oh, please. Yes, and for once we're Ha 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 ha! There it is! Humans isn't their usual MO. Either way, this <laughs> Cutting down innocence isn't their usual MO. Uh, since when? That's all they do, that's all they're capable of! That's that's how this game started. The very first mission was, the, in fact, the very first contact with them is them shooting civilians. That is Every how this morning. game began. Every morning, the elusive man has a breakfast of sourdough toast, sausage links, or freshly squeezed orange juice, and dead civilians. <laughs> it's how they roll! 
It's what they power their giant improbable orbital drops mecha suits with. Dead civilians. Ah, <laughs> oh, people want to talk to me. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I said I wanted to show you the um the trainer romance. Well, we can do that oh, now. No. Oh, we have hit the oh, arbitrary yeah. <laughs> the arbitrary uh door. We We've jogged past her the enough gate. for her to fall in love with us. <laughs> I love the way you oh. jog by and ignore me every day. Apparently we have a bunch of other stuff to do for... Oh, yeah, you can't just invite the person you're interested in. They queue up. <clears throat> it's like an answering machine. You can't tell Liara, hey, you, you can't, like, select from them. Today, on, invite as the galaxy turns. 5 o'clock, budget meeting. 5.30... Talk on phone with analysts. Six o'clock. Lesbian see. sex. Six fifteen. <laughs> I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. Having piano music in this game was the single worst <laughs> soundtrack decision. A record of the no, it, it could have so fit. It's just hokey. On the Reapers, it's not hokey. It can be pretty. It's just you, you need the rest of the game to There's sort of match that level of, of peaceful serenity. And right, right now okay. We're looking it, at it feels CGI too much junk. like like some high level guy, some like main game designer is just. Hey, you feel sorry, sad, yes. remorseful. <laughs> Some, not like track. it was not that like the scene the was made to fit with the music. The soundtrack is David Ganner's voice very softly you saying, You feel sad. Please, remorseful. What is the future of humanity? I'm you don't know. Close your eyes and try to visualize it. Many people you know are Whereas, not Whereas, ideally, you yourself will die. the scene has every should I could find. be the thing so that's invoking those questions like vigilant, or feelings, and yes. then the music is reinforcing them. For some time. Well, also, it just sounds like a role-playing game set in space. Like Star Wars or something. You would like Dr. To write in your so this is so, actually, I mean, I guess, okay, kind of cool. Um, Liara is basically making Vigil Mark II. I like the idea of this. I, I wish there was more done with this idea. We'll let Liara but, decide. You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Yeah. Make me inspiring. Sure? I like that, that you could be a jackass. I'd like it to be your call. You know what? Wait. That would be awesome that people in the next cycle Let find this... Oh, we found a rare human art artifact from the rare human civilization, and they open it up, and it's basically a giant PR pod for show. <laughs> oh, look, look, it's, it's that time it's, again. It's an elect it's time for Duke the game to give. It's time for the game to give one transplantable line of lip service to the background you pick. Careful, this doesn't sound like a diary. It's Geoff Kaylee surrounded by Mountain Dew and uh, Doritos. <laughs> I will leave in the, the show notes. Yep, you've been there for me too, Liara, all those times when... Oh wait, no. You made up. Fill in the blanks for me, Liara, you know me well enough. Are you sure, Shepard? I'm sure. I did just write your name in the Next stars. up, <laughs> the stories of Com Ask Commander Shepard. Let's invite hey, Okay, trainer. okay, here's... Here's what bothers me about all of the romantic crap in, in this series. It, it basically amounts to the romance from the movie Speed. A bunch of action happens, and then we're in love. And we have one scene where we snuggle. And that, that is love. It's like power fantasy romance. I accept. Oh, you were saying hypothetically. Sorry. Well, Commander? Well, but Everybody really wants to bone you. Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. It's and it's like this is there's there's no relationship in the romantic relationship. <laughs> yeah, I made this is literally out of a you... GUI interface and Visual Basic. I'll try to track down the IP of Cerberus. The most exciting. <laughs> I, this is literally you inviting well, up a a vastly 
lower ranking uh, member of the crew so that you huh, can bone them. Weird. Well, boink them. Have a completely inappropriate oh, relationship with wait, them. Wait, 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 that doesn't... Uh, uh, it's that's like confusing. There's supposed to be an option there where you sit... In real life, that tactic would you work. should use the shower well, instead, in which is life, dumb enough. Move on an eight by eight. But that wasn't there. Oh, I, really I don't stupid. know what's going on. Also, Shepard is really bad at. <laughs> what a surprise! I, I feel like I feel like that line would lead up to both of them sitting in the shower trying to play chess, and like it shorts out, and they're just like, oh. Cerberus has attacked the shower. You know, maybe I should have. <laughs> Good thing we didn't get out of our uniforms. Oh well. I like how you guys, you guys play Saints Row the Third. I like how Pierce is apparently really good at chess. Hell yes. Yeah. He's good at it because it's the least gangster thing the writers could think of.